In this tutorial I will be talking about getting sharp videos and how the picture profile of your camera can influence the details of your image. A detailed image is every filmmaker's dream, but it is also one of the hardest things to achieve. When shooting with a cheap camcorder or a cell phone almost everything is in focus or out of focus. Due to the low bitrate, you can't really judge the sharpness of the captured video. But in general, those videos look sharp. When shooting HD video with a digital SLR, the opposite is the case. Shallow depth of field caused by the sensor. This is the magic and power of DSLRs. Getting only objects in focus you want to. The downside is getting a detailed image where everything, or at least a certain area, is in focus. You have to shoot with an aperture of f8 or higher to create a deep depth of field. A common problem when recording video is the digital sharpness that is added in the camera. What first might sound great is one of the reasons why your image does not look sharp and detailed. Because the picture style has nothing to do with the aperture and the only thing it does is adding some felt sharpness. Most cameras, especially DSLRs, have a picture profile that you can customize. It is important to deactivate or minimize the in-camera sharpness or the objects in your video will look lumpy. Depending on your camera, this is also a great way of avoiding aliasing. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. The left shot has in-camera sharpness and in the right shot the sharpness was turned completely down. As you can see, the shots on the right side look way more professional and flat. But if you want to get a crispier image, you can still add sharpness in post. I sharpened the shots in my editing software and it clearly looks better and more detailed than the shot with in-camera sharpness. But be careful, too much sharpness can cause artifacts, so always try not to over sharp. In the end, it's all about the lens. Kit lenses aren't usually that sharp and don't have a wide aperture. I recommend a prime lens with an aperture of at least f2.8 for cinematic shots.